Okay, let's try to get the screen right here. Um, yeah, should be fine. Uh, welcome to this video tutorial. Uh, we are going to learn to install Uniform Server, uh, hook it up with an Open Tibia server. We're going to log into that uh, Tibia server, and we will also integrate my CNote Arc website to it, and we will install the shop system. So, first off, you see I've installed Tibia uh, 9.16 and the Outland IP changer. So, we can log in and test things, and that's it. So, first off, I need to download the Uniform Server. And I just Google Uniform Server for this. Um, and I've entered uniformserver.com and click on download. And we wait. We will extract the Inform server to uh, straight into the C drive without any additional folders. Uh, extract. Then we enter the uniform server and click start as program. Um, first thing here, it comes with a pop up. It asks you to change the MySQL password. Always a good thing to do. So I'm just going to write testing here. You really should change it to something else. Okay, great. Um, then we can start my SQL server. Or wait, I'm just gonna make sure server status is okay. Okay, um, here you can see my IP address, um, current uh, uh, version. Um, we are not accessible from internet because I haven't opened the ports. Um, it says my SQL port is used by another server, that's a bit odd, so let's start this here and see what happens then. We should now get a pop-up to our website that is automatically created by Uniform Server. I'm going to click back to server status and you see my skull is running by this server, so that's good. Everything seems to work fine. And yes, turns out I have the ports open, I just didn't start Apache server. So this is uh, accessible from internet. Uh, what Uniform Server is, is uh, a server application which lets you host websites uh, that has a MySQL database which we are going to use and yeah, that's pretty much what you need to know. Uh, this um, panel here uh, is a very neat panel, you can stop the web server, stop the MySQL server uh, and you can change into conf configuration cell um, even though you usually never do this so in this panel you just normally start and stop the server and perhaps check server status to make sure everything is working fine now mm, uniform server can be compared with exump but this is, is way better and uh, the website is this www folder. Um, so we are going to place our website here instead of these files when that time comes, but we are not going to do, do, do this here right now. 
first off we are going into PHP my admin which you see here and then we get to a management program for the MySQL server here we can see databases we have uh, and we can create users and uh, yeah let's go ahead and do that uh, our open tbs server will need a username and a password so they can access the MySQL server and they also need a database which we will create so let's start out uh, in the user tab up here um, you have to click to get a view of the users we have currently two users on PMA and root and we are not going to use any of these we are going to create a user I'm just going to call it observe and in host usually it works fine to do local if you are having problems using localhost you can just type in 1.7.0.0.1 but for now localhost is fine and for security reasons I think we should use a decent password so I'm just gonna click generate password here and so I actually remember this stuff I'm gonna save it in a notepad uh, let's just do tape observe and my password there and down here database for user we will select the option in the middle here create database with the same name and grant all privileges okay now you can see it's a panel here you see observe that's the database we just created uh, if you don't see this after creating you can click on this refresh button up here and it will reload this menu and yeah we need we need a node server so let's enter outland log in register if you haven't already and in distributions we click that and I'm going to download this server TFS um, 0 0.2.14 if there is a newer version you should use that but at this time this is the newest version and I'm running Windows 64 and you can see there are console and GUI what is the difference between these versions well the console is like a command prompt uh, like this it's a black box where information gets uh, printed out while GUI stands for graphical user interface and it allows you to click some buttons and uh, broadcast messages uh, through the server uh, and you also see 32 and 64 the difference between this is a bit of your operating system on these 32 bit uh, versions you can probably not run uh, original TBA based maps because 32 bit can only load up to 2 gigs of RAM while 64 bit is a pretty much unlimited amount of RAM so you can simply click properties on your Windows computer and you can see how much uh, installed RAM you have and I have 8 gigs and I'm running 64 bit it's impossible to have 8 gigs without running 64 so I'm gonna download 64 GUI and yeah we wait for that I think I'm going to make a folder in my local drive that I call for um, video tutorial. I just want to make a folder where I can extract the server and it's recommended you don't do it in your desktop just keep it close to uh, 
don't keep it in too many folders. It's just gets easier with permissions and such. And let's just see some data set. Yeah. Um, now we have extracted this here. We can double click the forgotten server and run it and give access to it. And it seemed to work fine. Here you see I selected the, the GUI version. And you see I have these panels up here. I can broadcast message and it will be broadcasted across the server. Now let's see at the configuration file. Uh, as you see this text manager I'm using is Notepad++ which makes it a bit easier to read. You see these comments are in green while if you use a regular Notepad for instance everything will have the same color. I just use this of preference because it's easier to read around. I'm just going to mm, I'm going to search for SQL light because we are going to change this here from SQL light till my SQL and password type let's change it to J1. Now if we run the server there something is wrong and it fails to connect to the database because we haven't set the username and password. So let's see where we have to do that. I'm just going to search for root and here it, here it is. Uh, you change, yeah that's okay, uh, we change the username to, mm, what was it again, yeah, observe. The password, you remember we generated that a while ago. And the database is the same as the username, so we're going to call that observe as well. Save it. Try to get it now. Mm. Database you specified in config is empty. Aha, uh -huh. yeah. Then we need to enter PHP in my admin. We click on import. Make sure you have the observe database selected in this menu. Then import. And uh, you browse to the to your OOT server. I stored it in the local C drive for under the full number video tutorial and you see this forgotten server.sql I open it and click go now I imported it and we can see here accounts, uh, players yeah. um, so let's try to run it now and there we go it's loading up now we can try to enter it. Make this a bit bigger. We just make sure you have run nine point sixty or I think nine point sixty one also works on this here. Uh, when I open the EPR changer, I connect to my own IP and let's try to log in. And account name or password is wrong. This here is because we changed it from plain to J1. And if you have a look at the database, we can see here that this line here it says one 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 one. Password is also one, but it is not encrypted into this password encryption that we wrote J1. So I'm just gonna Google J. And 
this site is a really good site for Shea uh, generation. So I'm just going to type 1 and hash darling. And in PHP my admin, I will now change the password for this account. I will type in my password there. One row affected. Um, the good thing about this PHP my admin version is that you can easily change. You don't have to select that or click edit and then go mess around here. You can just browse through accounts and you can double click something to change it. For instance, prem days. Well, double click, change to whatever you want, enter, and it does it. Now, let's see if we can get in. One, one, and there, we are in. Let's see how it looks here. Oh, here you see account manager has logged in. Account, I want my password to be super password is short super one two that did not work super two three yes um just gonna store that because i'm <laughs> i tend to forget very easily uh, your account has been created oh you see they also generated account number for me this there uh, I think this set is optional in config.lua. Yeah, you can select yes here to allow them to choose vocation. Generate account number can be selected to no and then they can decide whatever account name they want. But I'm just gonna use this here for now. I log in, super two three, and then account. I want to create a character. A character in the name shall be testing. Yes, it should be a male. Yes, and it has been created. I have to re-log again. Click testing, and now I'm online. Yay. So everything seemed to work here and you can click on server, I can broadcast message, and I click testing and testing got broadcasted to this player here. So that's a powerful thing with uh, a graphical user interface uh, basis. But if you're running a dedicated server there's really no point in having this there. can reload commands. It's a very good for testing environment. Uh, now, next thing we want to do is to, we have logged in here, so we need a website. Right now you have to create an account through the in-game management. That's a bit sloppy and yeah. So we will make a website and then let's go back to Outland. I'm going into uh, this downloads instead of going into stri distributions like we did last time. We're going into website applications. Here you can see this here C Note Act. This here is how it looks right now, and I might be creating more tutorials on how to use it. Uh, like changing layouts and such. Mm, maybe I'll just do it here. Mm. Uh, and uh, this link here is the one. Yeah, we're that's the one we're using right now. Uh, download. There, that download pretty quickly. When I open this uh, scene attack, I open on archive um, to open these files if you're having problems opening them you can download WinRAR or 7-zip um, those are programs that can open compressed files 
local disk, we go back to uniform server WW and here we will just delete this. Now when we enter localhost we see empty empty site and we take all the files here and move them over to this folder and let's try to enter it again now it failed to connect the database but also it shows installation instructions here so make sure you have imported TFS database uh, otdir forgotten server sql or otdir camas mysql.sql ok um, we have already imported this that's these tables over here and we need to import this here as well these are the queries for this website I'm just gonna copy that and here I just click on this logo and select OT server again just to verify that we are in the correct database and I click on SQL here I paste what I copied from here make sure everything looks good ok and I click go there you can see um, yeah, you can see uh, something has changed at least and when you click this refresh button up here you will see that CNote comes down here some tables and yeah here it is these are the website tables now I refresh this uh, still connection errors because well I haven't really changed the config yet and you see this config.php this file is, uh, is similar to uh, config.lua it's just for this website and config tfs version that's fine we are running uh, 0.2 series and here SQL user have we write the uh, username to the database which is observe and we have the same the database name is the same as the username and the password is the one we generated um, this here and paste that in there ok let's see now there we got in so that's good oh. so now you have set up this website yeah um, to in case you have a big existing database you can convert that by entering this special folder and click on database to cnote act click that and it says success total accounts detected 2, cnote compatible accounts detected 1 probably the account manager all accounts detected 1 probably the one we created when we um, logged in to create an account without the website and it updated one account and one character so that's good seems to have worked fine go back here now I should be able to log in with that account I created yeah that seems to work fine um, but let's just create a new account here register account um, see note test test mm testing testing askme.com yes and there congratulations your account has been created and I log in to it it works fine create create character it works fine and you can change comment here 
this works fine and let's try to log into that yeah that works fine as well hmm that wasn't hard <laughs> um so we have set up this website and let's look into the shop system uh, first I actually want to look into the admin panel in this config.php you can change the title to uh, first I'm just gonna run quickly through this config.php awesome what server I click home now you can see that's working when I click that so and what server motto that gets changed if you let's see what else uh, SQL details vocation you can change uh, vocation names there um, if you change it to something else than this which are default you might have to do um, source edits on the server itself as well to make it appear in game so we don't want that tones these are tone edas and this is the name of the tone eda which you can see in reverse map editor uh, create character lets you set default level health mana cap yeah that stuff Yeah. Hmm. It's pretty straightforward. The comments are pretty good, so it's just to read them. And if you don't understand something, it's just to ask me. Uh, oh yeah, uh, admin panel. Uh, I just created the this um, account called C Note. So I want to get access to the admin panel of this website. And then you see this here, config page admin access. We have to change these variables. You see Outland and Outland1. These are usernames uh, for admin panel. So I can write um, C note here, since that's my username. And since I don't have any anyone else um, I want to give admin access, I'll just remove this line here completely. I save and when I refresh now, there admin panel appears. I click admin panel and I can delete and erase character. I can ban. I can ban character. I can give him a name lock uh, or banishment. I can select duration here and why and perhaps a personal comment. Don't want to do that, but. I do want to give myself a god account so I'm just gonna log out and I type my character name or wha was it C note? oh yeah it was C note enter pan uh, admin panel uh, type C note I select god and set position character C note received the in-game position god so then I log in there you see now I'm a game master in game so that's cool it works just gonna have some fun um, and then what do we need to do now uh, shop system Yes, uh, this uh, website also comes with a shop system. You have, you can buy points and shop offers. You can edit this in config.php. Let's see if we find it. It's pretty long down. Uh, oh, here, PayPal. 
currently uh, only PayPal is uh, supported, but uh, maybe there will be uh, someone else releasing for other systems. PayPal enabler you have to write your name here. I'm just going to write my email address here. Um, currency over. This means people will donate euros. You can change it to USD or seek for Swedish kroner. That's your choice. Uh, points per currency means how much one of this, uh, in this case one USD, may uh, over if it changes to USD, it will be USD. How much one of this currency is worth in points? So I'm just going to use 10. One, uh, one euro is worth 10 points. But uh, uh, yeah, and this here is just to calculate the bonus in here. You can see it automatically calculates how much percent percent of bonus you get. In PayPal prices is where you actually type the offers. So I have 5 euros gives 45 points, 10 euros, 100 points. And you can see here 10 euros, 100 points, 0% bonus because uh, 10 euros has a points per currency which is 10 and then that makes it 100 points. So if I now change this here to 20, uh, 120 and refresh here, you'll see the server automatically go from 1 and 0% bonus to plus 20% bonus. And since we changed this mail here, that's pretty much what we need to do that. When I click purchase now, let's see what happens. And yeah, that seemed to work. Now it's five here, you just find a way, log into PayPal Pay and when it's done here, points will automatically go back to the website. Uh, you need to make sure you have set the IPN settings at PayPal. Um, I guess I can show you how that works as well. First off, I log in to PayPal. I have a pretty long password, so <laughs> um, this is in Norwegian though, so that's a bit unfortunate. But uh, I click in profile in this menu here. I click uh, my selling tools. Uh, in here, there should be instant payment notification someplace. Um, no, perhaps it wasn't my settings then. If I enter here. Perhaps it's this, um, my automatic payments. What happens now? No, not that one. Integrate PayPal pay warnings. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Um, <laughs> it was the first time I see this here in uh, in PayPal in Norwegian, so it really confused me. Um, there should be some. Uh, yeah, it is this here. I don't know what it will be in. Uh, in English, but it says uh, integrate uh, PayPal uh, payments to your website. You have to uh, update this here, uh, and then uh, you see this IPN instant payment notification. That was what I was looking for. Uh, uh, you have to make sure it is activated. If it's not, you click this button to activate it, and you make sure the URL address goes to your website slash ipn.php
you don't have to, you can probably ignore 7174 it's just because I'm running on a mobile port when you have done that I'm going back to localhost then you should be uh, then this has should be completely automatic and here in shop offers you see a list and you can purchase I have zero points now uh, if you want to give yourself free points you have since you have access to the database you can do that very simply you just click on CNote accounts and you need to find out which account either you're using so you can go accounts and then you find the username minus CNote and you see ID3 so CNote accounts account ID 3 and then I give myself 500 points when I now refresh this shop offers it will say you have 500 points um, so if if you want to change these options that can be done in config.php uh, in here config shop offers and you can see we have type uh, type 1 means that there are item ID offers for instance fire sword uh, crystal coins um, uh, single in-game items uh, offer type 2 no uh, that's type 1 uh, type 2 is premium membership so here you don't have to write anything in item ID but uh, in count you select how many days of premium you want to give and type 3 is uh, char uh, change character gender to change a character from male to a female uh, count uh, decides how many tickets you want to give if you want to only allow them to change gender once you have count as one uh, and also if you have count to zero then it will be work as unlimited so uh, people can change uh, the gender of their characters uh, when they want uh, having unlimited tickets now I'm going to create a new offer I'm gonna type one I'm gonna create a new regular item ID offer so I'm going to copy that go at the button and paste it in here this here will be offer 6 and then I make sure this share value is 6 make sure that this value here is one higher than the last one here and for type is 1 that's correct and item ID how do I figure out what that is let's go in game make sure you are on a god account uh, write forward slash i um, magic plate armor slash n magic plate armor I did not want to do that or ah uh, yeah um i have to it appears i can't write names in this uh, tfs server so i'm going to enter the video uh, the open tibia directory click data items and here i'm going for this xml document and open that in notepad i'm going to search for magic plate armor here there it found it and we see here that it has uh, id 2472 so i copy that slash i and write in this and there 
So we see that's correct. Um, just gonna re remove that with forward slash r. And we can write that in here in yeah in this offer. We write in this item ID here. Uh, count is one. We call it magic plate armor. And let's buy it for say it costs six hundred. No, that's a bit too much. Sixty points. So we save this and we refresh here, and you see we have created a new offer here. Magic plate armor, one, cost sixty points. Uh, since I have five hundred points, I can afford this, so I click purchase. And this says your order is ready to be delivered. Write this command in game to get it. Question mark shop. Explanation mark shop. Uh, if we write that in game, we see it doesn't work. Why? Yes, that's because we haven't uh, installed the scripts for it. So that's pretty simple. We enter the web directory. We click the Lua folder. Find out which uh, version we are running. We are running this version, TFS 0 0.2. So I'm going to enter that. And I'm also going to enter this um, Open Tibia folder. I'm just gonna reduce the size here a bit so we can keep both things open. I'm gonna enter the data folder, talk actions, scripts, and in here I'm just gonna copy in this cnotrop.lua and I'm going back and I'm gonna edit this talk actions.xml. Edit with notepad and I'm gonna open this and I'm just gonna copy everything here and below that list I'm just gonna paste it right in there now we can enter this server and we write um, action reload talk action and it says that reloaded talk actions now when I type uh, explanation mark shop it says I need more cap because I have zero cap on this character <laughs> on this god account so I'm going out and I need to create a new character I found out uh, it appears account manager is still here when you have a website you perhaps don't want people to use this method here at all. Um, it's recommended because uh, if they create an account here they will not be able to log in on the website. So it's best to force them there. So I'm entering config.lua. Uh, I can just navigate real quick. Uh, I enter the OTD and you see config.lua and I open this with notepad plus plus and account manager no, we do not want you anymore. Uh, and we can just reload the server. I'm just gonna restart it. Uh, meanwhile, I can create a new account, a new character. Uh, create character. Testing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, Cnote test. There we have created Cnote test. And I need to start my server again. And there I'm online on this character. And we write shop. There. Congratulations, you received one magic plate armor.
So yeah, that works fine. I got to be the luckiest love late character in this world. Uh, and and yeah, that is the shop system. If you want to remove these uh, existing offers, you can simply do that as well in config PHP. You just find this here. Um, you just erase everything. There. Now we only have shop offer 6 and I'm gonna just write this one now so when I click refresh and I have only only one shop offer um, let's just buy one more shop so you see it is a pretty instant it's very sweet and um, yeah, I think that concludes this video. Um, I hope you learned something. And yeah, have fun.